All right, we are here with Neil Lynch of the Nagani's Lions Club, and we're talking about the big Teal Lake meltdown. You know, you've been doing this event for eight years, and I have to say this is probably a first for you guys, watching it go through the ice so early, and then actually having a, a lake still full of ice. It's so unusual. Uh, this was an unusual winter for, uh, you know, everybody in the UP, and uh, we were uh, uh, not immune to that, uh, but... Uh, we uh, were still happy to uh, be able to uh, hold the contest and, uh, you know, benefit the community and, and uh, also have a winner. So yeah. it was uh, uh, kind of a miracle that we got the thing uh, put together this year, but uh, it was still a lot of fun and, uh, you know, always it's what everybody talks about at their coffee clutch yeah. and, and everything else. So it's yeah. kind of one of those uh, little, uh, have you seen it out on the lake still? Kind right. Of, kind of things. Yeah. So what day did it actually fall? Uh, the structure went through the ice on uh, March 16th. Okay, and so that was before you were even done selling tickets, technically. That's correct. So uh, the way that we have the, uh, the uh, rules structured is we usually sell tickets to April 1st. Uh, and that's usually plenty of time to, you know, end the contest and collect the tickets and go through them and, and uh, figure out a winner prior mm -hmm. to, or know who's in the running prior to the sinking. Sure. Um, this year, as you said, uh, we were two weeks ahead of the end of the um, uh, ticket sales. Uh, and uh, uh, we do have provisions in the rules that uh, the um, winning ticket or a potential winning ticket must be uh, purchased at least 48 hours prior to the sinking to make it somewhat fair. Okay. Uh, so this year's winner was? This year's winner was uh, uh, Blake Becker. From, Blake Becker. From Nagani. Oh. And everybody that uh, loves bicycles in Nagani knows Blake. Awesome. And when so, did he buy his ticket? Well, within the 48 hours? He bought his ticket back in February. February. So okay. So it was well prior or uh, very prior to the... Uh, 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 the actual sinking. Yep. <clears throat> the one other provision that we have there is that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the um, if there's a tie, uh, the person who purchases their ticket earlier sure. w wins the tiebreaker, as okay. it were. And that hasn't happened, but it's been close sometimes, so yeah. it's always better to purchase your ticket early than late. And now, so. uh, it's actually, the, the structure is actually under the ice. You can't even get it yet, right? That's correct. So you um, have to wait for the next meltdown. Uh, we, well, <laughs> we, have to, we have to be patient. Um, uh, we do have some, uh, some very important partners that, that help us yes. uh, with this project. Uh, UP Fab is uh, uh, the, the folks that put the structure together for us. They welded that all up and keep it painted and store it for us. Uh, the city of Nagani uh, allows us to use their launch site and their building to monitor the, uh, the structure. Uh, Range Telecommunications does the actual monitoring of the structure, mm -hmm. a video, video monitor to tell us exactly when the structure goes down. Um, and of course, uh, the uh, Market County Search and Rescue, uh, the team over there is just great. Uh, they come out every spring and they use uh, the recovery of the structure as a training exercise for their water rescue yeah. unit. And um, uh, we really can't thank those guys enough. They, they do such a good job. But uh, I, uh, I talked to Errol uh, Lukerainen a week or so ago after it sunk to keep him in the loop. And he's like, well, we're going to wait till May. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. and, that's, and that's just fine. Yeah, <laughs> so, yep, it'll be just fine under yep, there for yep, now. Yep. But uh, uh, one other thing that I'd really like to say is just thank you to everyone who uh, purchased the ticket and, and helped us because, uh, you know, Blake might be the winner, but really the community is the winner yeah. from uh, a fundraiser like this. That's right. And, uh, you know, the Lions, uh, I've been in the Lions in Nagani for more than 30 years now. I don't know where that time went. <laughs> uh, but um, uh, they do a lot of good behind the scenes that, uh, you know, people may or may, or may not hear about. But uh, it's a really good organization, and I would encourage anybody who's uh, civic-minded to uh, consider joining. All right. Well, I want to thank you so much for coming in and talking about <clears throat> this. And you'll do it again next year, I'm sure. We will. We're already making plans for next year. Perfect. And uh, we can't wait for uh, you to buy the winning ticket, Elizabeth. Oh, I, <laughs> I can't wait either. I'm going to mark you to that.